Good morning, you guys. Today is a little bit of a different video. Lately, I have been wanting to focus a lot on getting a little bit more organized, both with my content creation, my YouTube posting, some of the other things I have going on. I'm starting to get brands reaching out to me, which is so, so exciting. And I just wanna feel a little bit more organized with my life. I've been seeing a lot of girls out here on YouTube posting about Notion, and I thought I would give it a shot. I have used Notion actually in like a professional setting. I used it for my previous job, actually. So I am a little bit Bit familiar with how Notion works but I have never used it to set up like my own templates and customize them myself. Today I figured it could be kind of fun to get organized together, show you how I'm setting up my Notion template. So if you want to get more organized and you're curious about Notion, this video should hopefully help you out. With that, let's go ahead and get started and get looking at my Notion template and how I am going to be setting it up. Alright, so to get started I'm actually going to take a look at some other YouTubers I follow's templates. A lot of YouTubers have downloadable templates that you can duplicate and customize so I'm going to take a look at a few people that I follow. So this one is from Jenna Hong and shout out to her because I love her videos but this is one of her templates and I actually think that this is very aesthetic. I love it. I do have a digital vision board myself so I could like paste in my own digital vision board. Yeah I really like how she has this set up. I like how she has different monthly calendars, monthly goals. Yeah this is super cool. I was also looking at Becca Watson and her link actually is like a paid Notion template. It looks like super nice as well very aesthetic only 1050 so that's really not that bad but good to know that you could potentially like pay for some I'm sure there's tons of ones you could buy on Etsy that's definitely a solid option using an Etsy template and just kind of like customizing it from there another person I follow Bisma this is her template this is kind of nice and it's just kind of simple and clean honestly I'm really liking Jenna's template the most at this point so far but this is kind of how it looks like when you first sign up so it's kind of just like basic here under personal oops under personal home you can add different things you want like want to watch or your goals or whatever travel plans and then there's also templates that notion has that you can just copy straight from all right this template is from michelle kane mitsu i like how this is also set up daily life personal goals travel planner that's nice to have content planner that's definitely something i want to have with mine as a content planner so what i might try and do is some kind of mix of these because i like a few of these i like this content planner in here but then i like jenna's regular calendar so i might just try and like mix these all together and we'll see kind of what we come up with okay so i kind of like jenna's main setup the most so i'm gonna click duplicate up here in the upper right corner duplicating to my notion so i was already logged into my notion which as a complete side note I am using notion for free notion does have a free version it also has paid versions so up to you I do have an affiliate link for notion so if you are interested and you want to ultimately end up kind of copying what I'm setting up here you can just click the link below in my description box and join notion for free okay so insert names life just is life okay delete okay all right so it looks like she's using some sort of add-on so i'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit to change it to my location but i do like this okay this i'm gonna change to my own digital vision board which I actually made a whole video about how I made my digital vision board, but here it is if you're curious. Upload file. Yay, there's mine now. Okay. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to make sure that I add in, so personal, passion, growth, and development. So I'm going to change this to, instead of passion, I'm going to change this to like, I'm going to change it to hustle. I'm going to change this to health and wellness. I really like this content planner, so let me see if I can duplicate this specifically. And what I want to do is copy me, move to. Okay, so it's right here, so I just maybe I can just drag it. Yep. Okay, that works. Yay! I'm loving this so far. I really do need to figure out how to change this widget. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So I just signed up on Indify. It's free and it has like all sorts of different Notion widgets, which is super cool. But now I just want to copy this and go back to my Notion template and replace. Now I just need to do that. Okay looking good so one thing I definitely want to use this for is my calendar that's probably the biggest reason I wanted to use this so what I might do is use this master content planner for like all of my content or something clients and collaborations I think this is just really nice to have and then maybe I'll make 
this calendar more of my personal calendar. All right, let's figure out how I add something going in here. So for example, this day I am going to Shelby's Bachelorette. I can add an icon and then I'm just gonna send that to here. So this is kind of a cool way to just start adding in like things that I have on my calendar. This is one of the main things I really wanted to use this for as well as I go back. I really wanted to have kind of like a daily planner. So I need to add that in. Let's see if she has something like that here. Things to do this week. Love that. I kind of want to make this a checklist. I think you can change to list area. Okay, so I really liked this week at a glance, which I believe was from, was this from Visma? Yes, it was. This week at a glance, I caught, I duplicated this one, and now I have it. If I go to my homepage on Notion, it's right here. I don't want this calendar view. All right, so basically what I was trying to do is get this kind of week at a glance weekly to-do list over to my actual weekly check-in page and I was having some issues getting it completely formatted the way that it was in the other template. So just doing a lot of kind of messing around here. I will say that Notion is a little bit of a learning curve, so I'm glad that I took some time to kind of mess around with it. it took me a while to figure out that I could just kind of drag things and move them around to where I wanted them, but once I figured that out, everything started coming together. Okay, so messing around with just getting kind of my week set up. This is gonna probably take me a while to get it completely set up, you guys, but again, I've been kind of using a mix of Jenna's templates. It looks like she's using some of Jules Acri's templates. I'm using some of Bisma's template. I really want to actually use this one, which is from Michelle Kane Mitsu. Sorry, I hope I'm not completely watching that, but I like her travel planner one. So I'm going to copy this one as well. Really kind of all I'm trying to focus on doing is finding different templates that different people are using and then adjusting them into, as of right now, Jenna's main template to kind of make it my own and add in bits and pieces that work really well for me. Life. We're going to move this to over here which is personal planner the only one we really have right now is Cabo oh, okay this is Seattle this picture is actually perfect because we are going to Seattle already this uh, travel planner is really nice I really like this I think I'm also gonna add like under here somewhere somehow like trips that I want to go on or like bucket list trips or something like that all right so I kind of started adding these and then I added in trips that I want to plan and no dates or anything set for those but just like trips that I want to have some notes on like if I let's say I'm like scrolling through TikTok and I see something really cool to do you could add in like ideas and things to do here so that is kind of cool as well as like planning for the trip there so I'm liking how this travel planner is turning out and definitely a big thing I wanted to make sure that I had in my template and then the other kind of main thing I really wanted to use this for is my content planner so I mentioned this a long time ago in one of my videos but I have just been tracking my YouTube content and everything in Excel or Google Sheets rather so I want to just like integrate this my content calendar and some of my other things like brand posting and stuff like that that I need to have better track of in my calendar. So I'm gonna start integrating this really quick. I'm actually like really liking how this is turning out and I don't know why I was so hesitant. I think like it feels overwhelming but that's why I'm glad that I used some other people's templates and kind of like mixed them together to create my own and I'll definitely link below all of the templates that I used bits and pieces from in my description box in case you know anybody wants to use that as well. So Monday Monday content I have and then like Thursday I'm gonna do my this is gonna be my this video get organized so I'm gonna go through and add in all of my content ideas for the next like two months probably and then I also want to what I like about this is like I want to actually go in and add in posts that I'm planning for other social media platforms especially like as I get brand deals I think that this is gonna be super helpful but yeah so I'm gonna keep on adding those in I've been using lemonade a lot lately so for example on Monday I plan on doing my like 
Facebook post, whatever, I don't know. Anyways, you get the idea. I'm gonna keep filling this out, but overall, yeah, like I said, I feel like this is gonna be something I reference all the time. I do believe that there's an app, so I'm gonna explore that as well, but hopefully you guys found this interesting. Again, like I didn't have a Notion page set up before. I have just really been wanting to like get my life organized, have a place to store like all the things and have a calendar, have a content calendar, have my like trip itineraries and all of that. And I just like have never had something like that. So again, I've seen a lot of girls talking about it on YouTube. And so I wanted to give it a shot myself. And so far I am really into it. Like I said at the beginning, I do have an affiliate link. I mean, you can sign up for free. So do what you want to do with that. But so I'll link my affiliate link in the description box as well as the templates that I used to kind of start building out my own template. But I think that is kind of it, you guys. Hopefully this video was helpful and showed you how I'm trying to get my life organized and help you get a little bit more organized too. Obviously, I know that there's tons of different ways to keep your life organized, Google calendars, Google Sheets and all of that. But you know, I've seen a lot of people talking about Notion and I do like how you can like customize it a lot and add in little emojis and things like that to make it really your own and link different pages. And so I'm definitely gonna keep messing around with my page. I just didn't want to make this video like way too long, but let's just be organized girlies together. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button so I know to make more getting organized and Notion tour type of videos. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys next time. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the link above where I've linked my entire productivity playlist.